everyone, it's Anya here and I am back with another video for Ophelia Talks. This is the fourth video for our mystery crochet along for this autumn. The case of the mysteriously disappearing blanket at Greenway, inspired by Agatha Christie. For the written pattern, please go to the blog on our website and you will also find the colour table there. You will need this colour table to find out which colour you are using for each of the rows in this week, um, this chapter. So follow the link in the description box below to take you to the blog post. So let's get started on the weekly chapter now. I will show you the first five rows of the fourth chapter and you will need to repeat these six times to make up 30 rows. This chapter is called Captain Hastings. So let me pull through the new colour. There we go. Chain one, we turn and we're going to do a double crochet in the first stitch. You're going to chain one and we're going to skip one and then from here on we are going to place 191 double crochets in a row all along your row. So let's get started. I am doing 29 double crochets in my sampler. So I will see you at the end of the row. I'm just doing my last double crochet here of my 29 then I'm doing a chain one and a double crochet in that last stitch of course I don't finish it because I am going to be changing color so let's get on with row two so let's pull through the new color there we go chain one we turn, double crochet in the first stitch, chain one, skip one and we're going to do a double crochet in the next stitch. So we are making our boxes there. So now we are going to skip one stitch and then we are going to do two half double crochets together, chain one two half double crochets together in the next stitch. So that's this stitch here and we're going to yarn over, insert, pull up a loop and stop there. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, stop there. You now have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. Now you're going to finish them together. Then you do a chain one and then you do the same thing again so making two half double crochets together in that same stitch there then you're going to skip two stitches then in the next one you are going to create your next two half double crochets together chain one and two half double crochets together in that same stitch so skip two into the third and pull up your loops high enough so you have quite tall stitches so they don't get too short for your blanket. There we go. So you will be repeating this 63 times and I will be repeating it nine times. I will see you at the end of the row. So I've now made it to the end of the row. I'm going to be skipping this stitch here. Then I'm going to place a double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip the chain and place my double crochet in the last stitch, waiting for the color change. So I'm going to cut off my yarn and I'm going to bring in the next color for row three. So let's pull through 
the collar. There we go. Chain one, turn your work. And we're going to do one double crochet in the same stitch. Chain one, skip one, and one double crochet in the next stitch. Then we are going to skip a stitch and we are going to place two double crochets around the chain space of our bobble here. And we are going to place one double crochet in between the bobbles there. So two double crochets in the chain space and one in between. Two in the chain space so make sure you open up that chain space and that you're actually in it and then one in between the clusters and this is how you will continue throughout your row i will see you at the end of the row So I'm just doing my last double crochet sort of in between here. So that's the end of the repeat. Then I have here my double crochet, which I need to put a double crochet on. Then a chain one, skip one and a double crochet in the last stitch, of course, waiting for the color change there. So cut off the yarn. So let's start with row four and we're going to chain one, you turn one double crochet in the same stitch, chain one, skip one and one double crochet in the next stitch. There we go. So that's our box made. Then we are going to do a repeat of chain one skip one and then we do one double crochet in the next two stitches then we repeat our repeat so we chain one skip one and then we place one double crochet in the next two stitches So you're now going to repeat this 63 times and I will be repeating this nine times. I will see you at the end of the row. So I've made it to the end of the row. I have here my double crochet for my box to do. So I'm going to place a double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip one and a double crochet in that last stitch there, ready for changing colour. So let's cut off the yarn, row five, pull through the colour and we're going to chain one, turn, one double crochet in the first stitch. chain one, skip one stitch and a double crochet in the next stitch. Then we are going to skip two stitches, so one, two, and then here we are going to place three double crochets around this chain space. One, two, and three. There we go. And now we're going to skip two stitches, three double crochets around the next chain space. Skip two, three double crochets around the next chain space. And this is what you will be repeating 63 times. I will be repeating it nine times and then I will see you at the end of the row.
So I've just done my last three double crochets around that chain space there. I have my last box here, so I'm going to place a double crochet on top of the double crochet, chain one, and then a double crochet onto that last stitch there. And of course I am waiting to change the colour. So these are the rows you will be repeating for week four. So row one is the double crochet row. Row two is the bobbles in one location row. Row three is a double crochet row. Row four is a boxes row, but the boxes are made up of two double crochets sort of next to each other. And then row five is a row of double crochets, but of course we are placing them as threes in the boxes. So these are the five rows that you will be repeating this week and you will be repeating them six times to make up 30 rows. You will be doing row 91 to row 120. So make sure you go to the color table to find out which colors you are using for each row. I hope you will enjoy creating chapter 4 and I will see you next week for the fifth chapter in our book. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!